Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Saturday, November 25th, and today I'd like to talk about Our Lady as the Mother of All. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, dear friends, during this month of November, as we are recalling our beloved dead, we are reminded of the truth of faith that death has no power over us. Death is not the end of our lives. It is not the end of our story. It is not the end of our narrative. There is eternal life that is waiting for us. And we know in Jesus Christ, the bond we have cannot be broken even by death. As we are reminded of this truth and as we exercise faith and the pious practices that flow from that truth, it's important for us to step back, especially on this Saturday, and consider Our Lady, that Our Lady is the mother of all. She is the mother of the souls here on earth, the mother of the souls in purgatory. She is the mother of the souls in heaven. And she would have been the mother of the souls in hell if they had not chosen to rebel and to abandon God. Our Lady is the mother of all. So we can turn to Our Lady as we're praying for the souls in purgatory, our loved ones, and we can ask Our Lady to join us as we pray for them. As we are remembering our loved ones in eternal life who have now received their reward, who are with the formal saints of the church, who are there in heaven, that we can also ask Our Lady to, to help us to feel their presence. Our Lady is the mother of all. We can imagine she's just covering all of God's children with her powerful, beautiful mantle. And we can turn to her and feel her tender warmth, her motherhood, see that immaculate heart, and realize that the immaculate heart that we're looking at is the same immaculate heart that our loved ones are looking at who are in purgatory or who are in heaven. Our Lady is the mother of all. So I encourage you to turn to her, Allow her to truly be mother, to give her, her, to give you her consolation, to give you her encouragement, and to realize that she is the one who is there as mother to us and to our loved ones, to our beloved dead. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting the good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.